and sometimes vocal prayer is necessary at that point rather than trying meditation. Because sometimes when, when we're very stirred up, okay, when, we're, when the emotions are very alive, okay, it, it can be very difficult to settle yourself, to settle yourself in that regards. And what I find useful in that regards is to go walking and just and tell the Lord how I feel. Tell, I'm, I did that a number of times in that retreat. I told, Lord, this is what I'm feeling. This is me being real with you. You know, maybe I'm not seeing the whole picture, but help me to see more. OK, but I'm quite annoyed and quite angry at this moment. And I need you to enter into that feeling. I need you to enter into the feeling. And what you begin to find that over time, when you bring the, the feeling into prayer or allow the Lord to enter into the feeling, a gap is created between the feeling and yourself. It's not as intense and it creates an openness to look at it differently or to hear differently. Now, another way that I have found helpful, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but you see the picture behind me, okay, which reminds me, we were to do a meditation um, for the listeners, but we changed the format because I felt that if I sat here doing a meditation with you, it wouldn't really work that well. So I, I gave the meditation to you, which you will um, give as an MP3, so people can hear the audio version of it. So we'll help them to do that meditation. And part of it is based on this piece of scripture in John chapter 21, where Jesus meets the disciples on the shore after the fishing. Okay. During my 30 day retreat, it became a very significant piece of scripture for me personally, because during that, when I was praying with this piece of scripture in imaginative prayer, in the Ignatian way of prayer, I found myself with Jesus at the fire and we were discussing certain things and he got me to focus on the fire to understand the fire of his love. And he's also asking me to put on the fire, the anger, the annoyance, or things that weren't working for me, to put it on the fire. And even to think of people whom I had been annoyed with or angry with, to place that like a log on the fire, so it would ascend as a, would go up to God the Father, and come back as a blessing on those people. In that sense. So one of the things I find helpful in prayer are when I'm really angry or really annoyed or stuff is really not or frustrated or disappointed when things are not working for me. What I do often is I go walking, I go walking and I use it as a log and I put it on that fire between Jesus and myself. So I place it on the fire of his love and ask him then to deal with it or to take care with it. And when I was with my spiritual director uh, during that period of the retreat, she reflected back to me something which I hadn't realized, my own words. But when she said it, it had a huge impact on me. And what she said to me, so there's fire between you. There's fire between you. And that was so true. What I was focusing on was the difficulties or the problems where Jesus was trying to get me to focus on the intimacy between him and me, the fire of love that existed between us and to put everything on that fire of the love between us. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the watch more box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.